Now we get this question a ton on our channel, players commenting their height and their weight and then asking what position they should play. So in this video, we're gonna go through every single position and then we're gonna do it by three factors, okay? Your height, your weight, and then we're gonna add a third one, your ability to process information or how smart you are. That will determine what position you should play. Now let's get to it. The first position we're gonna look at is the defensive line position. This position requires you to have some height as well as some weight. And speed doesn't necessarily matter, but your height and weight will matter. Your speed is more tied into your get off and how fast you get off the football and get out of your stance. So if you are a bigger player, the defensive line could be a position for you. As far as your ability to process and how smart you need to be, it doesn't require a ton of smarts. You just need to be quick in your reaction time to be able to punch the player in front of you, extend out, and then find the football and play it. So from our scale on as far as how tall you need to be, you do need to have a little bit of height and weight wise, you do need to have a little bit of size as well. And then the ability to process, it'll be lower on the scale. So we'll give height and weight a four and then a ability to process a one. The next defensive position is the linebacker position. Now linebackers can come in all different sizes. They can be taller, they can be smaller, they can be skinnier, they can be heavier, okay? So weight and height here don't necessarily matter, but the ability to process does matter. If you're someone who doesn't know how to read run or doesn't know how to read pass or can't really comprehend things at a, a fast pace, the linebacker may not be for you. And the reason for that is there's a lot of things that linebackers have to look at, whether it be reading the guards to determine if it's a run or dropping in the pass coverage. So there's usually two to three seconds when the ball is snapped that the linebacker has to process this information. And if they're wrong, you could give up a big play. When we look at speed, speed is another element that linebackers have to have because they have to be able to track down the ball carrier. If the opposing running back is fast, you need to be able to chase him down. Unfortunately, slower linebackers don't play well outside of the box. If your coach's defensive structure just has you playing inside the box and they have one true middle linebacker and then two outside linebackers outside of you, then speed doesn't necessarily matter. But all in all, speed and the ability to process are two big factors that play into the linebacker position. Height and weight-wise, not so much. Only if you're playing that middle linebacker position. So we'll give... A height and weight, a three. We'll give speed a four, and then we'll give ability to process a three. The third and final defensive position is the defensive back position. This requires our corners and our safeties. And when we talk about height and weight for defensive backs, we're going to put this at a one because it doesn't necessarily matter how tall you are or the size that you are. The two main critical factors are your athleticism. So we're going to put that in the category of smarts. And your speed matters tremendously because you have to be able to cover a lot of ground. If you're someone who's slow, you're not going to be able to run down ball carriers. There's a reason that the position is called a safety is because you're the last line of defense and you have to be able to track down those speedy ball carriers that are on offense. So this defensive back position, we're going to grade that you need to have at least a four or five on the speed scale and then at least a three to four on the smart athleticism scale because you have to be able to run down ball carriers. You have to be able to cover fast receivers as well. If you're someone who's slow and you don't process and you're not that athletic, then you might want to move up to a linebacker or defensive line position. But if you are a smaller player, you really want to work on get in your playbook, work on your smarts, but also be able to process that information quickly. That way you can run down hill and make a tackle. Now flipping over to the offensive side of the ball, first we're going to start with the offensive line. And of course, these are our bigger players, okay, both height and weight wise. So if you are a bigger player, you probably fit into this category, okay? Offense line really matters when it comes to size, just because you need to force the defense line to go around you, okay? You need to be big enough to open up holes for the running back, okay? So we're going to put a four to five on our height and weight skill for offensive linemen. And as far as speed, we don't necessarily need to be too fast, okay? There are offenses that use undersized linemen that have to have a speed. If we're talking about a traditional power offense, height, weight, less speed will matter. Again, this position really is relative to what league that you play in, but also what offense that you play in. Because if you play in a wing T style offense where the guards have to be quick to be able to get out to run buck sweep or any of those plays, then shorter and faster makes sense. But if you're playing in more of a power offense, taller and heavier will make more sense because you really have to move those taller and heavier defensive lines off the line of scrimmage. 
And we'll put smarts and athleticism at about a three for this position because you do have to be pretty smart to play offensive line because things change quickly. Okay, you may think you're blocking one guy before the snap, but then he moves. You got to readjust your mind to be able to block another quickly. Okay, and your block really does determine if the play goes for 20 yards or if it goes for negative two yards. So the offensive line is an extremely important position. Again, height, weight matter, speed matters, and then also smarts and athleticism matter. Next is the running back position. The height and weight doesn't necessarily matter. Okay, so we'll put that at a one as far as relevancy. Speed-wise, of course, this is going to be a four or five, okay, higher on the chart. And then your athleticism needs to be pretty high and the ability to process. So we're going to put that as a four as well. Put your foot in the ground and find the hole of where your coach designates the two. Okay? If you're someone who just likes to do their own thing and run to the sideline, you're going to have a tough time playing running back, okay? So if you are a bigger player but do have some speed, there also is a running back position for you called fullback. And this is mainly a blocking back, but you can get short yardage carries if it is in your offense. Next is the wide receiver position. Now, it depends on height and weight which one wide receiver you play. If you play the widest wide receiver Height does matter because you're going to have to win those 50-50 balls on the outside, okay? So if you're a taller player with speed, then you want to play a wide receiver position. If you are a shorter player with speed, you can play what's called a slot receiver position, or some coaches will have wing backs if they run the wing tee. But this player is often smaller with speed that can play. And that's how we like to differentiate is taller, speedier players on the outside, smaller, speedier players are on the inside. And the ability to process information doesn't necessarily matter a whole ton in this position. But again, going back to that, athleticism needs to be off the charts because you have to be able to get past the defender, jump up, make a catch, and then secure it all the way down to the ground. So the wide receiver position, again, requires speed, athleticism. And if you do have height, you play on the outside. If you're a little bit smaller, you play on the inside as a slot receiver. And last is the quarterback position. So the quarterback, in my opinion, the height doesn't necessarily matter. It all depends what your offense is trying to do. If you are a little bit taller, it does help to see over the line of scrimmage, especially if your coach has you throwing the ball 20 to 30 times a game. If you're a smaller quarterback, it's okay because if your scheme allows for you to run outside the pocket and throw on the run, you don't necessarily need to be as tall. Weight doesn't necessarily play a factor, but if you are a bigger player and you can deliver the football on time and be more of a pocket passer, then you can play quarterback. But typically quarterbacks are able to move. That way coaches can call run plays for you and not just have to hand the ball to the running back the entire time. And then the last attribute is you got to have some sort of athleticism or the ability to throw the football downfield and throw it accurately, okay? So if you can throw the ball 100 yards downfield, but you can't be accurate with it, then what's the point of throwing it that far, okay? So if you can throw the ball accurately from anywhere from 5 to 20 yards and you can get it to your receiver, that's the best bet, okay? The deep ball is always great, but at a younger level, you always want to be able to deliver the ball on time and get it to your receiver so that way he has a chance to catch it. So measuring all these up, we'll say the quarterback position height weight is about a three, speed athleticism, again, about a three, and then ability to process information, be smart, athletic. We're going to put that at a four because it really does matter at the quarterback position. Now, if you have any questions about any of these positions, let us know in the comment section below. I'm happy to help out. If you do want to learn more about football, we recommend checking out our ultimate football guide, which we'll link in the comment section below. Check that out. But again, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.